was quite a debut, Billy. Welcome in to another edition of Box Office Quarterbacks. Been too long since we've all gotten together to talk about the MCU. Our friend Eric is back from Italy and his wedding. Uh, happy to see you, buddy. Haven't seen you in, in a few months here. And Gerald, uh, got you on board for Agatha. Happy we did. Uh, but but yeah, uh, two-part finale aired last night as we're recording this. Uh, I thought it was very strong. I did have some problems with it. Uh, let's go into initial reactions. Eric, what were your thoughts on this uh, wrap-up of Agatha all along? Um, in the beginning of the show, I, I thought it, it, it dragged a little bit. But I think, what was it, after episode five when what was it when they killed off alice I yeah think, i think that's when i was like oh okay this is this is our this is pretty good and then the unveiling of billy maximoff which i thought was done well but um fast forwarding to the two-part finale the one thing i did like was that they did it differently we had a two-part finale i think that's the first time in any disney plus show that they've done a two-part finale just dropping it at once um, so it, it told, a, I thought it told a cohesive story, even though at some points it, it felt like it, it was just like, when is this going to end? But, um, I, I thought it was, I thought it was done well. I liked my, I think one of my favorite scenes was when Agatha and Billy were, um, where she was trying to take it, trying to show him where Tommy was. And I think they showed like a kid being pushed in like the ocean, where it's just like that part. That part was was good, and then um, I I enjoyed uh, just all the Rio stuff. So I thought this was a it was a good two part finale, a good way to wrap up the season. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I agree fully with Eric. It for me like it was the first four or five episodes kind of dragged. Um, once we got to some of the reveals, and then like, the story started to tie in more, I started to see more where the direction they were going and. Um, the finales were pretty good, in my opinion. I really liked the last two episodes. Really wrapped things up and made the whole show better for me. Um, I don't know if, I mean, when I'll rewatch it, but I definitely think on rewatch it'll be better, just knowing how it all turns out and everything. Um, you'll just get to see little things about how, it, like, oh, well, that ties into this part of the finale, this and that. Um, so um, I think my first initial thoughts really are, it's like Marvel finally got a finale right. And add a guys, because it's been a while. So yeah. that was nice. Yeah, like for an Agatha Harkness show, Agatha Harkness is an elderly witch in the comics. To do a show based on her, this is probably the best this would ever be. And they really maxed out their like capabilities of making this show go above and beyond what it could be. And getting the big reveals that Death is behind this whole thing. Lady Death is a huge character in the comics, basically. Thanos's motivation to do what he did in Infinity War and then to continue the story of WandaVision. I thought that was really great because uh, to this day, that is still probably Marvel's most successful Disney Plus show. Uh, I thought it was a great like spiritual successor to it. It's almost like the like Better Call Saul to the uh, Breaking Bad universe of Marvel here. Um, love the performances. Uh, love where it leads us, which is probably to Vision Quest or the Young Avengers. Uh, you know, I would say that this would rank pretty high up for me as far as the Disney Plus series go. I don't know about you guys. Like, Gerald, where do you think this comes in on everything that we've seen? I'd have to I'd have to think about it. But I mean, the, the first few, the first several, actually, I really enjoyed. It's it's really only been the last few. Like um, I have Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or Captain America, not uh, Captain America and Winter Soldier, whatever they call it. Uh, next time, but that one was like my favorite for a while there. I loved WandaVision for real. Um, what if the first season I really liked? So like I don't know where I put this. I know that I would say it's on par with those at, at, at the least. Like I could argue it's better or a little bit worse than all of those, um, other than the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So. 
Yeah, and Eric, I know you love Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. I think that's been your favorite uh, no, for a nobody long can time. Make, nobody can make me hate Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, that's my that was that's my favorite. I think I'll probably put this. Yeah, you know, dang, I don't want to feel like we're agreeing all the time, but I agree with Jared. Like it's probably fourth because Falcon and the Winter Soldier, season two of Loki. I really enjoy. No, what was it? We just had two seasons of Loki, right? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Season two of Loki, I enjoyed. Um, and then X Men ninety seven, I love. So I'm yeah. Gonna, so then I probably this is probably fourth, I guess, for enjoyment. But um, but yeah, but I mean, it's they turned out a lot of stuff. So I mean, four, it's not bad. I mean, it could be Hawkeye, which was. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there, there were some. I, mean, I, I still enjoyed most of the projects, but like, there's definitely a lot of flack that they all got, especially that second wave of them, like mm-hmm. Hawkeye, the Marvels. Um, gosh, I, I mean, Moon I didn't Knight, really yeah, the Loki, the Moon Knight. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, like, I love, I loved a lot of those shows, but there's also a lot of issues with them that I can agree with some people. Um, she Hulk, I was really excited for that one. I still kind of liked it, but it has. Its I issues. liked it. I was lying to myself a lot through that show. Um, <laughs> I was like, "Is this is not good?" But I'm going to say it is. You throw Daredevil at me, and I just like all thoughts go out the window for me. It's like automatically an A, but automatically this is good. <laughs> yeah, like this show leaves us in a very like questionable place i guess where these characters can come next uh are you excited to see the story of billy and agatha continue on because now we're gonna search for tommy we're gonna probably build the young avengers uh eric i don't know about your thoughts on the young avengers but (laughs) i'll be uh, honest yeah first off i'd be remiss to say it I think Agatha might actually be fifth because Echo, I, I enjoyed Echo as well. Echo but, was very good. But um, to go to your question, man, I do. Oh my God. I do not care about the young of <laughs> Like, like I wish I could be a fly on the wall in like Marvel to just be like, please don't just don't <laughs> don't need to do this. Please. Like, like, Sorry. I just hate kid superheroes. Like, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm just like, oh my god! <laughs> like, no. I guess I'm just an old man. Like, like ah, I don't, I don't give a damn about these kids. Like, but I mean, it just better not be a movie. Like, I don't even know actually what I want it to be. It's like I, I don't want it to be a movie because I don't want to spend money to watch it, and then I also don't want to invest weeks on end watching it as a series yeah it's just like oh i i oh my god like, I, I can't do it i can't i'm sorry i can't like uh, i, I liked Haley steinfeld and hawkeye i really hated ant-man's daughter and uh, ant-man in the wasp quantum mania so uh you have some questionable team members on that team already uh they're building like a if we're going in NFL terms, they're building like a five and 11 team at this point, oh, but uh, oh God. <laughs> Gerald, what about you? They're building a D2 school and they're playing D1. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, um, I, I really, with speaking to the young Avengers, like I really don't care, but at the same time, I'm probably still going to watch that stuff. Um, and like, I don't know why I'm just gonna, but I, I wasn't, too excited about them because like I really only did like Haley Steinfeld and Hawkeye for a lot of reasons but it was a great I, I think it was a good show but I also love Haley Steinfeld um, I, Joe Locke was a pleasant surprise I really liked him as Billy um, he was fun he kind of had the he kind of like I felt like Wanda's presence in him I don't know he felt like Wanda's child um, and he did a very good job of portraying that um, I thought he was kind of funny too the way he did stuff. So I think um, that and him, him and Haley Steinfeld can make some interesting scenes. So I like, if we're talking like how, how excited does this make me for that a little more like, okay, cool. That'll be fun. Um, but um, I, I have a feeling vision quest is going to be a lot about him and Tommy trying to find vision. I'm guessing now. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, a lot of ways we can go with these characters, but uh, let's talk about the show itself. I know we kind of got a little bit off track. Uh, any favorite scenes, favorite episodes that stand out to you? Just getting mine out of the way real quick. I loved um, the episode that was focused on Lilia and the whole Wizard of Oz like imagery. And you have um, like Billy dressed up as Maleficent. You have Agatha as the bad witch. And uh, Lilia obviously is the good witch. I, I loved everything. And that was the Rio reveal of death. Uh, that is my favorite episode. Probably one of the strongest MCU episodes in a bit. Uh, what about you guys? I don't want to agree with you because it's Patty, cause agree with me. Like, when we got to like talking about actually, if we got to a part about talking about the cast, I was going to bring up Patty uh, Lupin's um, uh, God damn it, Patty Lilia. Lupin's job uh, yeah. as Lilia in um, in the show because I did like her and because of her, I did that was my favorite episode as well. Um, next to the two-part finale, um, mm-hmm. just because that's really the parts that actually tied it together and made me actually look back at the show and think, okay, yeah, I did like that show more than I'm giving it credit for. Um, but that, like like you said, just her part in it, um, her portrayal, everything was great. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with recency bias. Honestly, I liked the last episode because I, I, it would, I wish they kind of went a little bit quicker, but I liked the backstory between Agatha and her son, Nicholas, and like how that all happened. And like that touching moment where Rio actually came to get the son, came to get Nicholas, but she allowed him to kiss um, Agatha on the forehead. And it was just, that was tough. That was sad. That was tough. That's how like, I figured like, like, oh, this, this is what really tied everything together. Um, But I I did love Lilia. Um, I, I forgot who oh, did I just forgot? I forgot her name. The the one the witch whose mom was a singer. Oh, Alice. Um, Alice. Yeah. A- Alice. Alice. Yeah, I liked I liked her. Um, but yeah, I liked Aubrey Plaza's Lady Death. Um, I liked the the witch who did the healing potions. Like I think they they like there wasn't too many things I didn't like. But if I had to pick my favorite, it, it definitely was the finale. Yeah, the thing I like, don't like is that we got Abi Plaza's death too late. We could have had her and Thanos just having, or Thanos like just clawing after her this whole time, and um, we did we didn't get that. Yeah, um, that was she is honestly like the perfect person to play that character. Like Aubrey Plaza, like even since like Parks and Rec, where she is just like doing this shit where she's like, I like ghosts and goblins and super <laughs> weird. And like, she was the perfect person for that. Yeah, but and we're going to get more of Jennifer too. the other. Way. Yeah. She, she survived. We saw her fly off. So she's apparently her- Johnny blaze's cousin in the comics, which I learned today. So, oh. um, yeah. there's ghost that. Rider? Yeah. Ghost Rider. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Jennifer probably show up. If midnight suns is real, she could potentially show up in that. You have all these accounts on Twitter where it's like Marvel update, and then they just tweet out the most random shit ever. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, "Okay, uh, Moon Knight <laughs> season two <laughs> definitely happening this time." I was like, okay. "There's one thing that this <laughs> show definitely made me think that a Scarlet Witch movie is coming. Like, oh, I, yeah. that's definitely coming. My, yeah, I think it dead. might even kick off the mutant saga. Yeah, but she's not dead." I that's, feel like she's, she's like the most popular character in Marvel now. I know. I think uh, she might be. Yeah, and, if it and is they, definitely gonna capitalize off the Olsen name too. That mm-hmm. makes sense. That's right. Mary Kate and Ashley's little sister is more famous than <laughs> them now. So I, don't uh, think they were. I mean, they're like fashion designers now, right? Like, I don't even think they. I guess they want to be famous for that, but like, they don't do acting at all. Forget about Full House. They don't want you to remember. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> it was all. It was all a dream. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, let's get to final rankings of this show. Uh, Honestly, I love this. I give it an all star. I think this is solid. I love the release schedule here. Like they finally did a Halloween show perfectly where they released at the end of September. The last episode was the night before Halloween spooky season. Uh, Like my wife loved this show. Like we were like tuning in every single week. Um, Great performances. Loved Aubrey Plaza. Uh, Eric, what do you think you would give this on our scale? I'll give it a starter. Um, 
definitely the cast was amazing. They that everybody was on point. Um, again, you know, little things here and there. Again, I just got to give it a starter because it just I felt like it dragged the first four episodes. It was kind of a slog to to try and get through and, and understand. Um, I guess that's just me because I was when this show got announced, I was like, I. I don't care about Agatha, <laughs> but I mean, she made me care. So I mean, I, I was a starter. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to again. Damn it! <laughs> it's again, all agree. I, I have to. No, I mean, I'm going with um, I'm going with a starter here, but it's 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 because of that slow start, right? And um, because Agatha is a character that not a lot of people know about, um, the casual fan's going to look at this and spend maybe the first episode or two and lose interest. Um, and that's going to suck because once you see the end, it, once you see it through, it does tie all together and it makes those episodes a little bit better on rewatch. But um, you, to get there, you have to you have to chug it through the end. Um, that makes it a good starter because it can it, it if you finish it, it's a damn good show. But if you don't, it's you're going to want to bench it pretty quickly. Um, so I think that's that's where I'm going to land on it. Yeah, um, honestly. Yeah, like a great watch. Um, I I've never rewatched any of these shows. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, if I were, I wouldn't be upset if I rewatched this one. But uh, guys, we do have more comic book stuff to talk about in the next few weeks. Uh, Penguin, I think, is blowing all of our minds, like and expectations out of the water. Uh, love that show. Uh, Gerald got some Otaku versus planned as well. So. We will be back very, very soon. This has been Box Office Quarterbacks. It's Eric. It's Gerald. I'm Jeff. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a good one.